Hello everyone! Welcome to another tutorial of Python class. Let's learn something very awesome today. How about you create a program that asks you these questions? Okay, what's your name? So, the computer is asking me what's my name. Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's just say my name is um, Mr. Awesome. What? Hello, Mr. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Who is your celebrity crush? Who is my celebrity crush? Um, there are so many. Um, um, let's just say the first thing the name came up in my mind. Okay, Scarlett Johnson. I'm so sorry, Mr. Awesome. You're never gonna meet Scarlett Johnson. Well, oh, that's rude. That's how can you say? I, I mean, how can this dumb computer can say? I, mean, I am not gonna meet Scarlett Johnson. I'm definitely gonna meet her. I'm, I'm gonna date her. Cool. Okay. Let's press what? How much money do you have in your pocket? Well, how much money? It's around 30 bucks. Oh no, it's 25 bucks 30 cents. Right. Only 25.30, it's way too little for to learn more. Ah, oh, that's weird. Okay, let's get to work. Well, this is a very simple program that you can write yourself. It's very simple. Just you have to pay attention and learn some new tricks to do this kind of programs. And you can use this kind of thing in way, way more other places. Just use your imagination and creativity and create anything awesome you like. Well, so let's get inside the program to learn how we can use this kind of things. Now, the question comes, how can we do it? Well, it's very simple. Okay, let's get started. Print, what is your name? Well, that was the first thing appeared in the screen, right? After that, I had to give my name. Well, that's the tricky part. Here, I'm giving any name and computer is printing that. So that's a totally new con concept for us. And to do so, we'll have to use a new thing that's the input function. So whenever we're using the input, the user is getting the luxury to use anything he likes or she likes and we can use it further in the program. Okay, let's write. Input, right? Name, input. So in the input, the user can give any input he or she wants or likes. Okay, after that, computer said that, um, hello, it said my name, so here I'm using the variable name, nice to meet you. Now the computer asked, who is your celebrity crush, right? So we have printed it, and after that we'll have to use an input to get the input from the user. So we are using the variable crush and getting the input from the user. Simple. Now it said something, so we have to print it. It said, um, okay, I'm so sorry. And after that it said my name. So it got the name from the variable name and it said you are never gonna meet the crush okay so I used Scarlett Johnson so I'm never gonna meet Scarlett Johnson Phew. that's bullshit I definitely gonna meet her and I'm gonna date her okay whatever so that's the thing the computer said and it was well programmed and so whatever the question was asked and it was give answered properly and so this awesome thing happened. 
So that's how the programmer does wonderful, wonderful programs. The first thing about it, they organize the whole program such a way that the user get mesmerized and surprised. So after that, the program stopped for a second and we have to press the enter to start the second part. And how can we do it? Simple. We can just use the input and give nothing. So the program will not run until we press the enter. Right? Okay. Now the uh, computer asked us something like How much money do I have in my pocket? So here the thing is how much money do you have in your pocket? So we don't know how much money the user have. So we are using money and giving an input. So the user can give the input of anything like an integer, float or anything. So the user has given something, so and after that, there's a very sarcastic thing like um, only five or only ten. It can be anything. Like even the user has put a million dollar, still the program would have asked like a million dollar. Okay, so we can't do anything about it because we have programmed it to such a way. And after that, it said it's way too little. Try. To earn more, followed by a straight face. Well, that was a program, right? Here, at this part, we need to learn something more to create something more awesome thing. Well, that is the Python arithmetic of operators. Well, we all know the basic arithmetic operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. Here, it's very same and similar. Just use plus sign for division, the minus sign for subtraction that you can easily find in your keyboard, and instead of the multiplication sign, just use the asterisk. Instead of the division sign, just have to use slash. And by modulus, we are saying the remainder. For example, let's take a variable a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. So 10 plus 20 is 30 here, right? 10 minus 20 is minus 10. 10 into 20, 200. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 20 divided by 10 is 2, and there's, there remains nothing. So the remainder is 0. Here the exponent. The exponent is, we all know, the power. So if you're saying, like, 2 squared is equal to 4, and how can we use the squared for the cube or other things? Simple. Just use asterisk twice. Here, for example, a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. So 10 to the power 20 is equal to 10 to the power 20, right? So what will the answer it will come here? It will be a very big number, obviously, right? And let's come to this part. It's double slash, right? It means the fourth division, which means if we want to divide something and that is not completely divisible, then the result will be here. Like, if we divide 9 by 2, we get 4, and got remainder 1. So they're possible. So here, the possible result is 4, and it even can be a decimal number. Here we are, at the basic arithmetic operators for Python. Okay, now we are gonna do some addition. And for the addition, we're not gonna give the numbers by ourselves, but we're gonna ask the numbers from the user. So how can we do it? Yes, we can take the number from the user by using the input. So simply we can ask the user, simply like um, print, Insert the first number and and for the first number we have to use it in the variable so we are giving the name of the variable first number and gonna use the input here but here's the new thing we can't use a simple input here because we're taking the input and in the further cases we will use for mathematical things like we're gonna do the addition or multiplication or subtraction or and or something else so remember it whenever we are doing some kind of thing like this we just can't use the simple input we'll have to use eval input so we have to write eval give the brackets and write the input okay very simple in a similar way we'll gonna ask the second number from the user so we're running print insert the second number okay and in the same way we are gonna use the second number and evil input The double parenthesis. Okay, 
So we have got the first number and the second number. So we're gonna just simply do the addition. We're writing print and we can write first number plus second number and we'll get the result okay let's test it first number 45 second number 10 or 40 85 see it's cool and it's very simple so in this way you can do the addition subtraction multiplication or anything got it very simple so here we are as learn how to use the mathematical operators as learn how to take input and use it in different cases with this knowledge and a bit of your creativity you can do lots of lots of awesome and awesome things okay thanks for watching the today's tutorial and that's the end of it see you in the next tutorial and by this time stay fine stay cool and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you like it give it a thumbs up and comment down below to let us know how we feel about this peace